everybody, welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have WWE Action Figure Surgery episode number 38 for you guys, as well as some other things we're going to be working on slash showing you, because I do have some updates, not only to the arena, because something happened in there that I want to show you guys, and uh, it's, it's freaking, oh my god. Oh, Jesus Christ. You know what, F it, let's go show you now. Alright, so you're probably like, Brad, what the hell am I looking at? Well, if you guys can see the red smearing right here, okay, I had this bottle of fake blood. I had this bottle of fake vampire blood, and it was sitting right here just open, and I, I shouldn't have left it here open, but I did that because I was filming and stuff. My cat jumps up here, knocks over the bottle of blood, and it spilled everywhere. There was a massive puddle right here. We had to fill up a whole garbage bag full of, of freaking paper towels and towels of trying to clean this shit up. And now I'm going to have to go to the store today and I'm going to have to buy new poster boards to replace all this, remove all this, and completely rehaul it. And that's not even the biggest deal. The cat stepped in the blood and then got in the ring where the chamber match is being filmed, as you guys can see. And there are two or three cat paw stains in the fake blood in the ring. And so now I'm going to try and bleach pin the ring. I don't want to show the ring because there's stuff happening. I don't want to spoil anything. But there are blood stains in there, and now I have to use a bleach pin or something and try to get that up. If I can't get it up, then I'm going to have to literally... Oh, God. It's going to piss me off. I'll have to take down the ring, take down the chamber, and replace it. Or I'll just have to leave the blood there and come up with some dumbass reason why it's there on commentary during the show and you guys will notice that. And then replace it after that match. I don't know, dude. Freaking bullshit. But yeah, lots of blood. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that before we got started on action figure surgery here today. There's also something that I did with one of my boxes. I have a WWE Elite box where I keep my loose elites that I don't have on display. And then I have another box right beside it that has some other figures in it that usually just have parts removed. And so I went through my fodder boxes and I organized them and took out ones that are full by. You guys will see what I'm talking about. Let's just shut the hell up and get into the surgery. So today, guys, on episode 38, we don't have a ton of stuff to do. And it's not a, uh, a ton of things where it's just like, oh, shit, you know. But I think they're necessary. I think they're going to work out. And I'm actually excited to do them. So what we're going to do first, guys, I do want to go ahead and do this because this is another custom that we're going to do here on the channel, especially for Christmas time and Christmas and Christmas, Christmas. Um, I don't know if you guys follow the guy AFW underscore animations on Instagram. Really entertaining uh, Instagram page. He does like some funny like questionnaires and stuff on his story where he like does these crazy things that fans submit him to do. And it's really, really awesome. I enjoy them every single time he posts them. So go check out him. He uploaded a, uh, a figure and it was a Seth Rollins in Santa clothing. And we're going to do the same thing here today on action figure surgery and make a Seth Claus uh, slash Santa Rollins, whatever the hell we're going to call him. And uh, I wanted to give him a shout out for the idea for that. So that is one thing we are going to be doing. Another thing we're going to be doing is head swapping the two elites Daniel Bryan's figures. Just to make everything plural. Elite 73 Daniel Bryan, Elite 68 Daniel Bryan doing a head swap between these two guys because I think that'll be wicked. I do want to get another uh, Elite 73 Daniel Bryan. I have two of the Elite 68, so you see what I'm saying? I want to have two Elite 68s uh, one with this head sculpt, one with that head sculpt, and then one Elite 73 with this head sculpt and one Elite 73 with this head sculpt. So maybe I can get that for Christmas or something like that. But that is something I want to do. I also think these figures are great for parts because you get these blue knee pads. You get the blue lower legs and blue kick pads that you could use for custom. So I, I really want to do that head swap. I think that'll be really fire. Another thing we're going to do is show off the Aleister Black right quick because this Aleister Black, I could not figure out the lower legs, guys. Uh, somebody recommended Undertaker, but it still didn't work. Um, made him too tall and plus the lower leg was like coming off so what I ultimately did is just switched his lower legs with Elite 47 AJ Styles lower legs and he's still pretty short you know I don't think there's anything we can do about it to be honest with you I'm not sure if I'm going to use this attire at Hell's Gate I don't know just yet so just bear with me and we'll find out about that later on but there is the Elite 73 uh, Aleister Black another thing we're going to do is uh, switch out the wristbands that we said we were going to switch out uh, I'm going to go ahead and switch those out because these are much thinner I think that'll work a lot better with this Rey Mysterio basic. So we are going to switch out uh, those wristbands right there. And then the rest is just minor head swaps. We do have this John Cena here. Somebody recommended doing the, you know, the gray short Cena that we talked about with the blue armbands and the gray and white shoes that we've done on action figure surgery to pop this basic 100 John Cena head on it and that will look a lot better. I agree with that. So I am going to do that swap here 
today. Shout out to whoever recommended that. And then we are going to update our Sheamus. If you guys watched Friday Night SmackDown, Sheamus did return. and uh, Or not return, but he was showing like a vignette and he cut a promo. But uh, we're going to switch it out with this old Elite Sheamus because this is basically what he looks like. You know, this right here is a little bit longer. Uh, probably could sculpt that or something. I'm not a sculptor. I don't do that. I suck at it. So I'm not going to do that. But I will head swap this and we'll see what that looks like. And uh, yeah, you know, no more Mohawk. He does have like the spiked hair look back. So I think that'll look really nice for a updated 2020 or 2019 Sheamus. So that's pretty much what we're going to do. So let's just shut the hell up and get into it. Of course, you guys know we do have the white hair dryer, the trusty white hair dryer. And I don't think we're going to need it for this first segment. I think we're going to go ahead and check out Rollins as our first little deal of business. And we're going to pop off this red vest because I don't think I want the vest on there. I just don't see that hat happening. So we got that off. And all we're going to literally do is go ahead and slide on uh, this uh, jacket from the Hunter Hearst Helmsley Network Spotlight figure. We're going to slide this on here. And then the next thing that we're going to do, I think he like cut the, uh, I think he cut the jacket so it didn't have have all this long stuff. I may do the same thing, but for now, I'm not going to do that. I thought this Velcroed in the front. Okay, so it does Velcro in the front, and then all we're going to do is take our Santa hat, and we're going to put this on here, and then uh, I am going to take my super glue that I have, my trusty super glue, and I'm going to super glue this down so that it is, you know, down here, and so that it, you know, fits nicer and stuff like that, but I'll show you guys that at the end. But there it is right there. Very simple stuff, not nothing too crazy. Again, huge shout out to AF W underscore animations for making this custom possible. I may like do like a crinkle effect on it. That way it sits better. And uh, yeah, that, that should work a lot better. But for now, we're going to move on from him and we'll take a closer look at him at the end. Alright guys, our next order of business is going to be head swapping the Sheamus and John Cena's and hopefully you know it goes over smoothly. We don't have any bullshit happen to us, but we are going to attempt it here and let's just go ahead and hit the old trusty white air dryer. Go ahead and get it in position without knocking shit over. Not succeeding at that. All right, guys, that should be good enough. Uh, I did look away for a split second, and it looked like it was like, like I noticed the hairdryer turn, and so that pissed me off right there. Hopefully this works. It looks like it's going to be like a, oh, God, I don't know if this is going to work. Ah, Christ. That freaking neck peg. Why is that neck peg so long on the Cena figure? Yeah, that ain't going to work. Look at him giraffe-ass neck. Look at him giraffe-ass neck. Giraffe-ass neck. Giraffe-ass neck. Giraffe-ass neck. Giraffe-ass neck. Why is that a thing? Well, so much for that, Garvin. Look, look at that. You literally have to switch out the neck peg to even have a chance. Well, that was... Look, look how damn long that neck peg is, bro. That sucks ass. Christ. Let's go to the next one. We got Seamus right here. Hopefully this one will actually work. That one doesn't have a freaking neck peg longer than anus. Anus. So there we go. Got Seamus all fixed up. We'll take a closer look at him at the end of it. Damn, that sucks that the freaking fracking Cena didn't work. You know what? Give me this. What about this, Brad? How about that now? Best name in the comment section wins. That's a good way to piss me right off. But anyways, let's move on to the next bit of surgery. Guys, what we're going to do is we're going to heat up these Daniel Bryan head sculpts not only at the same time, but we are going to... God, I hate this godforsaken bullcrap. Alright. We're going to put this here. We're going to take the Elite 68. We're going to put that right here. Hopefully that works. And then we're going to try and heat up these hands slash arms of Rey Mysterio at the same time. Don't know how well this is going to go, but you know what? F it. All right, guys, this should be good enough. I'm not really... Oh, heaven, God, and shit. Oh, my God. Why is this torso on fire? This Daniel Bryan head scan sucks eggs. Good God, that damn neck peg and the freaking head sculpt and... Woo! I know you guys heard that one. All right, so now let's see if the Elite 73... Three can pop off. God in heaven. I'm sorry I can't put it on screen, but I don't want to snap these pegs because that would really upset me. Okay, I will put this part on screen though. We'll take the head the head scan of the Elite 78. Elite 78. Elite 73. We'll pop that on here. 
And there we go. So we got that switched on. And then we're going to go over here to the Elite 73. Go ahead and pop this on here. And we'll, we'll go ahead and take a look at that at the end. Damn, that's got a good head pivot. All right, what we'll do is we'll take a look at that at the end. But right quick, before we get into that, let's go ahead and pop these hands off real quick. Quick salad, just... Just like that, I've shown you guys that method very many times. Uh, then we're gonna, that's the right arm, that's the left arm. So now that we have switched out those, now we're going to, I wanna use these sleeves for something. It's the whole reason I bought this basic, but I don't know who the hell I could put it on. I mean, who do you put gold sleeves on, you know? Stupid. We'll get rid of him, and then we'll go over here to Alistair Black, and we're going to pop his hands off. And since these wrist gauntlets are so damn big, we are going to put these on, and this should be a lot better and a lot thinner, and they should fit a lot more snugs are you shitting me, Brad? Are you going to tell me that they're not wide enough? Oh my god, what the fuck is happening? Let's just go ahead and switch this one first. Get that off. Get that off. Get these gauntlets out of my face before I curse. Oh my god, I cannot get these on here. I may just have to see you guys at the next portion of surgery and we'll go over everything and then I'm going to show you guys that new idea I had behind the box and stuff. You guys will see it, but I'll, I'll see you guys in the next segment. I mean, Christ, I'm going to have to do something to get these damn things wide enough. All right, guys, so taking a closer look at everything we've done here today on episode 38 of Action Figure Surgery, I glued fuzz to my damn thumb trying to get that Santa hat fixed. It doesn't even look good. That pisses me off. Just not... not not a totally successful day, as you guys can see here by the Seamus Cena bullshit that we got going on right here. Like, my God, why didn't that head scan go on? I know why it didn't go on, Brad, but it's still upsetting. It doesn't change the fact that it's upsetting. That neck peg's way too long. Why would they even do that? Dumb. But next up, guys, you will see that we have Santa Rollins or Santa Claus or S Santa Claus, Seth Claus or Santa Rollins, whatever the hell you want to call him. Here he is here in all his glory with his jacket and his pants and his Santa hat and his belt. He's looking pretty good. Again, shout out to AFW for that idea. And I like this man. He's going to be, you know, teaming it up with Santa Claus in the Santa videos, I guess. We'll have Seth Rollins with his Santa hat and uh, he'll team up with Santa Braun or Santa Claus. I, I call him Santa. It's not even a Braun figure to me. He's completely Santa. Here's the Alistair Black, guys. I did end up getting the wrist gauntlets on there and it looks so much better than it did so uh, I am happy with that way better than these thick ones that we were using I did have to force it on there but they are on there now I think that's going to work pretty good and pretty well so there's Alistair Black and uh, again I'm not very happy about his height still like look how short he is like compared to Daniel Bryan I just uh... <laughs> All right, next. Okay, let's get some positivity, okay? Getting to the positive side of things. The Elite Daniel Bryan head swap looks fantastic. I think that the Elite 68 body for this Elite 73 head sculpt is fantastic. It looks freaking phenomenal. I think this is great and excellent. And this one looks good as well, too. So I don't think we went wrong there. I think we did a really good job. <clears throat> Almost vomited. So I like that a lot. I think that both of these turned out pretty freaking amazing, especially this one. I think this one is the superior one, but I do want to get another Elite 73. And uh, th this head sculpt's just so good looking. Look at it. Great looking fix up there. And then finally we have our updated Sheamus, which kind of looks like a flashback Sheamus, but I guess uh, for now, until we see his updated attire and everything, or whatever the case will be with Sheamus, we do have this uh, 2019 slash 2020 Sheamus, because we're about to enter 2020 and I'd imagine that is when we'll probably see him back in the ring unless he, you know, debuts on SmackDown uh, in the coming weeks before 2020 gets here. But that is it for our Sheamus, and that is it for the rest of the stuff we've done here today, guys. Guys, I'm not ending the video right here, though, because I did want to show you guys that uh, that box of figures that I was talking about because I do want to tell you guys about a new series that I had an idea for, and uh, it, it sounds pretty cool. It'll be similar to surgery, but it'll be a little bit different, and I think it'll be pretty excellent fart nasty salad sauce stuff. So uh, what we're going to do... Oh, almost forgot. Got to get gotta get the shitty one in there. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and do that before we get out of here, and I'll see you guys when we get to the box. All right, guys, so I don't know if you guys can see what I'm talking about here, but I have this box right here which has like figures like this that are like this AJ Styles where like they're missing their legs or their kick pads or God in heaven this dumbass tripod. I'm at the throw of fit. But you guys can see here what I'm talking about. You have this AJ Styles and he's blurry and now he's not, but you guys get the idea. Uh, all the figures in this box are like figures that have missing parts or something like that, like this Miz right here and everything like that. And over here to the slight left, we have a box of figures that are fully loose that are not on display or anything. So I have my fully loose uh, elites right here that I don't use. Uh, above here I do have my John Cena loose collection and then right here we have the figures that are missing parts and then right here we have my loose basics that are not in the crowd. So what I'm thinking is what if we started a new series where we took like maybe one or two figures out of maybe even a few more, it just depends on how much work is needed. Take a couple figures out of here and then 
try to use my fodder boxes, which are over here. All of these boxes right here are full of fodder. So what if we took all of these, went through them, found parts that we needed for the, take parts out of these boxes to put with these figures in this box, and we try to put them together, make them whole again, and get them over in this box. You see what I'm saying? So we take the fodder box, put them together with this box, and then make it into this box if, you know, we can actually put them all together. Unless I have a specific shelf designed for these guys, then they'll go on that shelf. I don't know. That's just my idea for, you know, a video. So if you guys want to, if you guys want to let me know what you think about that series down in the comment section below, I'd really appreciate it. I think that'd be a really badass series. Don't know what we'd call it. Maybe box to box or something, some shitty like that, or reviving figures or something. I don't know. Just something with that. I don't know. Some of you creative mofos down in the comment section can come up with something cool for that but i do want to know your thoughts on that so please let me know and that is going to do it for today's video guys thank you so very much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed episode 38 of action figure surgery not very much done but you know it was a fun episode you know got some rage in there uh and we got to talk about this we had the bloody arena so yeah it's yeah thank you guys for watching subscribe to the channel for more epic wwe action figure videos follow me on instagram and twitter at my name toys and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you